Everybody and their grandma's dog knows about Tony Hawk. Just like every frat bro knows about Nigel Houston. And don't get me wrong, they have both had their own huge impact on skateboarding. But if you go into a skate park and get asked the age old question of who your favorite skater is, and you answer with, uh, Tony Hawk, or, uh, Nyjah, or, uh, Aaron Cairo, Somebody, oh. you will automatically be labeled as a poser or a kook. Why? Well, because out of the hundreds of skaters out there, you really chose the most well-known ones to be your favorite. Please, have some class, and name a skater that doesn't have a multi-million follower count on Instagram. This is a skateboarding equivalent of, oh, you're wearing a Nirvana shirt? Name five songs. So that's why in this video, I'll be bestowing you with the forbidden knowledge of the 10 skaters that you need to know about if you are a skater. These are the people that you don't hear about in the mainstream, despite the massive impact they've had on skateboarding. All of which are good favorites to choose from that will definitely give you more street cred. I'll be starting with the most historically significant skaters first, and then in the second half, going into some of the modern skaters that are pushing the limits for what we think is possible in skateboarding today. So without taking up any more time, let's just get right into the video. Up first is the legend Danny Way. Danny Way is by far one of the most inspirational skateboarders ever, best known for his innovative tricks and fearless approach to skating. He has accomplished some of the greatest feats in skateboarding that many people wouldn't even think of doing in the first place, including holding some of the most impressive world records in skateboarding, such as the record for the furthest and the highest jumps in skateboarding. He has many notable tricks but my favorites include jumping the Great Wall of China and dropping in from a helicopter. He also started out as a prominent street skater and landed many firsts that other skaters thought to be impossible. But if there is one thing that defines Danny Wei, it's his ability to push the limits for what is possible on a skateboard. He has faced numerous injuries and setbacks throughout his career, but he has always found a way to come back stronger and continue to inspire and influence the skateboarding community. And just like for most other skaters in this video, this small section really does not do him justice. So I recommend that after you watch this video, you check out my Skate Stories playlist and watch the mini documentary that I made on Danny Way and many other skaters in this video. Tony Alva. This is a skater named Tony that non-skaters don't know about, even though they should. I'm sure almost every skater knows about Rodney Mullen inventing most of the modern tricks in skateboarding. But far less people know about the person behind the counterculture of skateboarding. And that title belongs to nobody more than Tony Alva, who is often referred to as the guy who started it all. Most notably, Tony Alva's trademark attitude on and off the board transformed skateboarding from the milk and cookies pastime of preteens to a tough and uncompromising lifestyle that is still known for today. But what brought him into the spotlight in the first place was his skating. He and his infamous group, the Z-Boys, were the first to bring skating empty pools into the mainstream. Aaron Jaws Hamoki. Aaron Hamoki, or more simply known as Jaws, is personally one of my favorite skaters. If I could use just three words to describe him, it would be balls of steel. And this is for more reasons than one. First off, he is hands down the most fearless skater that there is, because no one else is able to consistently skate some of the biggest and most challenging gaps in skateboarding like he is. He makes 10, 15, even 20 foot drops look like they're nothing. But Jaws is not Iron Man, and the tricks that he does come at a steep price, as Jaws has suffered numerous injuries throughout his career, most of which I can't even show because YouTube is pretty sensitive around that topic. But despite his injuries and his setbacks, he always manages to get back up and continue to push the limits for what we think is possible to do on a skateboard. His determination and commitment to his craft is truly admirable, and it's hard to find another skater that is as bold and daring as he is. Andrew Reynolds. If you don't know who Andrew Reynolds is, can you even call yourself a skater? It's pretty hard to sum up the influence that Andrew Reynolds has had over the past 30 years of skateboarding in a short paragraph. But it all started with amazing skateboarding 
featuring his iconic frontside flips and turned into Baker, one of the most recognizable skateboarding brands today. His contributions to the skateboarding culture and iconic skateboarding style has earned him a place in the Skateboarding Hall of Fame. And his influence on the skateboarding culture as a whole is undeniable and once again just one of those things that I cannot sum up in a little section of this video. Chris Cole Chris Cole is known as one of the best street skateboarders in history. Even today, as people are doing more technically advanced tricks, it's hard to overlook him. But back in the 90s and early 2000s, he was way out of everybody else's league. First gaining recognition for the completion of a series of very difficult tricks at iconic skate spots. Most notably, the tricks that he landed at Wallenberg, Carlsbad, and the Love Park Fountain. Kalos was so hyped on it, he rolled up to him and said, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you, if you switch frontside flip. Got it. He is also a good competition skater, winning gold on five separate occasions. However, it is his street skating that truly sets him apart from the rest. His style, creativity, and determination to keep riding after hard slams has earned him the respect and admiration of countless fellow skaters. Now that I have covered some of the most historically significant skaters, I want to move on to the modern skateboarders that are innovating skateboarding the most today. Up first is T-Funk. Tristan Funkhauser, more commonly known as T-Funk, came into the spotlight as Sid from Toy Story and turned into one of the most raw street skaters ever. Each part of his style embodies what it means to be a core skateboarder. He doesn't have any jock energy, he doesn't care about social media posturing, he just embodies the true definition of the term thrasher. And even though there are many skaters that can be considered to be better than him, that do crazier obstacles or more technical tricks, nothing inspires you to go out and have fun skating like watching a T-Funk part. His style of fast aggressive skating will make your palms sweaty and he is by far my favorite skateboarder to watch because of this. Miles Silvas. Miles Silvas is far from a well-known skater, but he, in my opinion, released one of the most impressive parts ever done in skateboarding. But it wasn't because he landed some crazy tricks or skated some insane spot that nobody else would think of doing. Instead, it's because his entire five minute part was a continuous line filmed without any cuts. Miles literally skated for miles doing tricks most casual skaters can't land at all, let alone consistently. And if he made one single mistake, he would have to start all over again from the beginning. Throughout his part, he would skate some of the most iconic and historic street spots in San Francisco, all while having to deal with unexpected factors such as people, traffic, and even his own filmer messing up. But after a grueling four days of filming, it was all worth it, leaving him with not only an impressive part, but also in my opinion, the most unique one ever done to date. Chris Jocelyn Although today it is safe to say that Jocelyn is not that focused on skateboarding as he is busy being a father, from about 2015 to 2018 he was an absolute powerhouse of a skater, landing some of the most impressive tricks that we have ever seen done in skateboarding. Most notably his tray flip at the Davis Gap, his blizzard flip over the 12th stair in Germany, and his highly debated tray flip over El Toro, which he didn't count himself, but most skaters count because, I mean, just look at this. Despite his time in the spotlight of skateboarding being quite short, it is undeniable the impact that he'd made. Tyshawn Jones. If I'm not mistaken, Tyshawn is the youngest skater to have two Thrasher of the Year awards at only 23 years old, and that's for a good reason. He is hands down one of the most talented and consistently hardworking skaters out there today. He's also known for his bold skateboarding style and absolutely massive pop. He first won Skater of the Year at only 19 years old with his part in Supreme's video, Blessed. 
but it seems like 2022 was a really huge year for Tyshawn with almost every trick he posted making waves in the skateboarding scene, resulting in him winning his second Skater of the Year award and also being featured in a Kendrick Lamar music video. Aurelien Giroud Aurelien is who I consider to be the French Nigel Houston, except there is just about everything in his skateboarding that is more fun to watch than Nigel. He might not skate the massive rails like he does, but he does everything else a lot better in my opinion. All from his style to his insane technical abilities to just the magnitude of the tricks that he does, he in my opinion is the best skater when it comes to doing tricks that nobody else can do. After all, he is the only skater after Jaws that had the balls to try a jump to Leon 25, making it look easy almost landing it three times until he bailed out and busted his heels. The size and difficulty of the tricks that he does just puts him in a different league than anybody else. And although he isn't as consistent as Nyjah when it comes to competitions, his skating is way more exciting to watch. Obviously with a list of just 10, I missed out on a lot of skaters, so let me know who you think I should have included or who I should include next time in a video like this. And if you're interested in learning more about these skaters and some of the others that I didn't mention, make sure to check out my Skate Stories playlist. As for now, that's all I have. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.